2 1. That is going to do it. Jake Berger is the hero. The Marlins come all the way back. The win probability chart for the end of this game looks like the stock market circa 2008. Going into the bottom of the ninth, the Yankees had a 98.4% win probability. And without fact checking this stat at all, I'm going to go ahead and claim that this is the biggest blown lead by the Yankees in the ninth inning since Mariano Rivera retired. So Yuli Gurriel leads the inning off with a double, and after striking out Birdie, the Marlins load the bases on a single by Fortes and a walk by Jazz. And this is really where the meltdown happens. Here it comes. Ground ball knocked down by Holmes. Throws to first, and he throws it wide! Two runs will score on a tapper back to the mound. You can see that Holmes is scrambling to make this play, and he doesn't get a good grip on the ball. Instead of the four-seam grip, he gets all of his fingers on the ball, sort of like a change-up grip, and it leads to an errant throw. This play probably should have ended the game. They could have gotten a double play two different ways, or really, if they had just gotten one out here, they likely win the game as well. Boone decides to keep Holmes in to face Luis Arise, who then rips a triple down the right field line to tie the game up. On his way to third, and here he comes! No throw! Two RBI triple! And that was it. The Yankees were done. As soon as Marlin fans are taunting you right to your face, you know the game's over. And of course it was, as Burger Boy puts an exclamation point on what was a crazy finish and a loss that sums up the current state of the New York Yankees.